Samsung devices have had multi-window features built into their core operating system for a while lately. This has branched out to Android itself. Now all Android devices are able to do two panel multi-window on their device. And with that, Samsung has been enhancing and expanding the multi-window feature on their devices. One of these extra features is commonly referred to as a floating window. So today I want to show you how to use the floating window feature on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. So by default, the quickest way to use this is just to go into the Recents page. Once you're here, you get all your cards for the previously opened applications. So if we want, say we wanted to use the Settings application as a floating window, we're just going to tap and hold on the title bar of that card. Now if we want, we can drag that up to the top for split screen view. But you can see there's a blue box here that we can drag for pop-up view. So we just drag that card to that blue arrow and now we have this application in pop-up view, which again is commonly referred to as floating window. So with this, the application works just as you would expect. You can scroll, you can go into menu areas, you can use it just as you expect, and you can even resize the application as well. So that is the default most common way of getting an application into floating window mode. And like I said, it's just as easy as tapping on the title menu of an application from the recents, dragging it to that blue square, and now we are in floating window mode. However, Samsung has built in a gesture on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus in an attempt to make that transition much quicker. So to access that feature, we need to go into the settings first, then we need to go into the advanced features option, and then you're gonna see down here we're gonna have a multi-window option. Tap on that, you're gonna have two different features that are disabled by default. This is how they are when, I, when you first open up this area. You can see we have a pop-up view action. Whenever we enable it, we get a demonstration up here showing how this gesture works. So the pop-up view action, once that is enabled, we can drag from the top left corner and do a gesture to turn that application into a pop-up window. Let's just show you that again. We're just going to drag from the top left corner. And we can have that floating window whatever size we want. Now I will say this gesture for enabling the floating window is a bit hit or miss. It will depend on which application you have open and you are trying to initiate this mode. For example, I was trying to do this on the Play Store application, so if I didn't hit it just right, in some attempts I would bring down the notification panel, and other attempts I would expand out the hidden menu, the overflow menu, because that's how that is activated with a swipe from the left side of the screen. So it took maybe four, five, or six times for me to finally get that gesture in that corner to work properly. So just be aware of that if you are trying to use that gesture for the floating menu. And there you have it. That is how to use the floating menu or the floating window feature on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus.